That's a very good question. So I thought I was going to go in and build up the uh, the way that we interacted in electronic format with our with our client base. And when I got there, I realized actually that I needed to cut down a lot of what uh, had actually been created. We had just in the fixed income division, we had 15 separate initiatives. Every single product had its own e-commerce initiative. So every single product, because it was, you know, e-commerce and the internet was the, was the sexy thing and everyone wanted to own a bit of it. So the guys in FX were busy building their e-commerce platforms and the guys in money markets were building their own e-commerce platforms and swaps and commodities and futures and credit and every single part of the business was building its own little e-commerce initiative. And it was a it was a mess. It was a total zoo. And so what we did actually is we tried to rationalize all of those different initiatives into um, into a co- they can't all be necessarily the same, but into a cohesive strategy where we tried to share expertise uh, across product lines wherever we could, where we built infrastructure uh, once and shared it again wherever wherever we could, and where we rationalized the approach that we had. So we really had three three main business lines. One was the uh, the bank's own initiatives with respect to uh, selling, effectively pushing content or product to its client, its institutional client base for the most part. The second main set of activity was the, and, and there I'm talking about thousands of clients. The second activity was partnering in consortiums with other banks. And there were a lot of businesses that were created. Uh, Platforms that were owned by several banks at one time in the in the fixed in the bond business, government bond business, or the credit business, or the swaps business, and there effectively we were an investor and we were we had, had to exercise governance over some of those businesses. And then the third activity is what we would call the B two B business. So it was our direct interaction with either large clients or large networks where we were able to provide liquidity electronically to a to a large a large network of, of clients. So we had these, so rationalize it into these three business lines, tried to do the right thing in each, and then where it came to the bank's own uh, initiatives, tried to have some kind of cohesive and uh, a strategy around what we were doing.